You know, there's nothing like cracking that, that cellophane and pulling that record out. It just smells great. Welcome to Buzz Mayhem Hour. Non-stop hardcore energy. I love the show, guys. You're awesome. Yeah. Unlike any other. With your host, John the Bud, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Man, this stuff rocks. This is Jeff Fab. This is JD. Dario Arena. And you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. The views and opinions of the guest do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Bod's Mayhem Radio Network, its staff, affiliates, or sponsors. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. the Bod Father. And as always, I'm bringing you guys and girls awesome interviews. Today, it's an honor and a huge privilege to welcome J.D. Deservio, uh, Deservio hey. Jeff Fab, and Dario Loriana, or Loriana. I, thought, I, I hope I pronounced it. Lorena. Yeah, Lorena. There I go. There you uh, go. It's <laughs> Italiano. It's a, I got it. No problem. <laughs> uh, the Mighty Black Label Society and Black Label yep. Society will release their 11th studio album entitled Doom Crew Incorporated on November 26th, which is Black Friday via spine farm also check out the first single off the new album set you free and i got to preview this album today and uh it's a banger guys it's it, it's right, as far as a fan man it's it's met my expectations for for sure well you, you shoot low though right your expectations <laughs> <laughs> no it's really good guys honestly it's thank uh, thank you Especially when your expectations are low. Exactly. I, that's what I'm saying. We just shoot very low. And then, and then we're it, never disappointed. Exactly. So how you guys been doing so far with all the pandemic and finally by you and out to, you know, get on the road again? It's been great, man. You know, we were locked up for like a year and a half or so. So come back out. It's great. People are all, you know, psyched, you know, excited. Glad as we are. Mm-hmm. We're psyched and excited. Mm-hmm. We're excited. <laughs> we're excited we're very excited yeah no it's good to uh, Dario, i can't contain him yeah, he's, he, he's <laughs> fucking, out of control as you can see he's flipping out <laughs> just because be, be nice to him he might break the screen in a minute yeah yeah we gotta keep him calm <laughs> dario smash <laughs> <laughs> we're glad we're, hey it's nice to see people at the shows too yeah. man. that was a whole nother thing we were wondering well, i wonder what it's gonna be like but oh, everybody's showing up so that's cool yeah. Has it been a lot of sold out shows or has, has it actually made sure pretty much patients and everything, you know? With yeah. The- yeah. It's, yeah. Been, it's been packed, man. Yeah. Black label faithful coming through, man. Oh yeah, for sure. And I was at the Pottville, uh, Kentucky show. You guys are here, uh, right almost in my hometown at the Appalachian wireless arena, like a couple oh, years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, That's an awesome show, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. and I hope, I hope you guys come back pretty soon actually. So cool, man. Yeah. I think we'll be through our Cincinnati anyway. So your beloved Reds right there will be right there, man. Yeah, and you're a Mets fan, too. I know. I'm a Mets fan. Originally, I was a uh, Johnny Bench fan, so Reds were my first favorite team. <laughs> I'm 100 years old, so I remember Johnny Bench, you know? Yeah, good guys, good guys. How long did you guys sit on this album? Was it for a year before releasing this, or was it before the pandemic, or was it during the pandemic? This is no, it was no, during the pandemic during. we recorded it. Yeah. So it's it's been probably a year, though, you know? Since we uh, recorded the first tracks yeah. and stuff, you know, yeah, totally. So, as a band, were you guys a little nervous at all releasing this album right now? No, I mean, we actually waited, you know what I mean, till everything's tried to get back to normalcy, you know, a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we had to wait though, because it was probably going to come out earlier. But because of all this, it didn't make sense, you know. Yeah, I've talked to a lot of bands, and they've said the same thing. You know, they might as well just put it out and get it over with and just see how it goes. Do you think this is going to be the new norm of just releasing the albums and touring when you can, you know, since everything's going on the way it is? Well, I guess we all hope that it's not going to be much longer like this. You I, know? Don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't Yeah. It already looks – I mean, we are. everyone's coming to the shows. It yeah. seems good. Seems good. Like I said, I got to preview this album today. It, it, it's be like I said, it, it's beyond my expectation as a fan of Black Label Society. But what led "Set You Free" to be the first single off the album? Was there another song that possibly could have knocked it out there? Maybe. Oh, definitely. There's several. You know what I mean? But that's just the one that they they went with. You know. But there's there's a bunch on this this album that could have been a single, the first single. Yeah, I honestly thought "Destroy and Conquer" should have been. You know, could have been the first single. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 
Yeah. All right. No, is it? I don't know. I don't know if that's that good. No, I'm like. <laughs> Well, his expectations are high. Yours are too low. You got to get going in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Dario, what's your thoughts on being involved, being involved on the album and it being a two guitar driven album than previous albums? What's your thoughts on this, man? Um, yeah, it was psyched. You know, it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was psyched overall, you know. Has that kind of like, you know, said here? Hear my little pad one, join you know, do more with this, you know, and give you a little bit more free range, possibly. Yeah, no, he just sent, you know, he called me up and said, I got how many songs it was. He's like, I got these all coming over to you, just throw some solos on them and send them back to me. So I sat there for about a week and uh, sent them all back. Since you've joined the band, how much has Zach pushed you to up your game a little bit as a guitarist? If any, man, has he, has he pushed you at all, possibly? Oh, of course. I mean, everybody has, you know, it's like, yeah. If we make a mistake, Zach like punches everybody in the face. He so. pushes us all. <laughs> he's, he's such a bully. Like literally yeah, pushes. He, he's hurt me several times. He's mean. But you've got some good punches in there before, JD. I've seen it. I, well, that's <laughs> me getting my just, you know, getting my due now. Yeah. You know? yeah. He's like, all right, I, I abused you enough. You know what I'm saying? So JD what, sticks up. He sticks up for us all. Yeah, you know. I'm the union rep, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Gets too hairy. We'll mess with my guys. Hey. You know. <laughs> That's like, it. Zach didn't get that email that JD sent out. That's what happened. <laughs> That's true. What's impressed each of you or excited you all the most about making this new album, Doom Crew? Doom Crew Incorporated, if anything, guys. What sticks out the most for you all? Good, D. Um, I mean, overall, the songs are awesome. I, I love all the songs as a whole. So, um, yeah. Jeff? Well, it was nice to do something because our tour got canceled. So that it was nice to actually go in and start working on something else. Yeah. Music, you know, so that was cool. And yeah. then the songs, you know, I mean, I guess the songs are, uh, you know, yeah. I love the songs. Yeah. And yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, it's cool. It's a good record. Yeah. I'm just always excited. So it doesn't He's very excited. What, what, whatever I do, I'm just very excited. Any tracks standing out more to you guys than any right now on it? I mean, I know it must change every time you guys listen to it. But are there any that are sticking out for you personally? Maybe. Yes, but I, I don't know the real names. I know. I only know the working titles. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I don't even know the real names. Set, yeah. I'm having them. Set you free. I know. I like that one. That's good. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> it's good. The next one's even better. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll see. Set you free part two. <laughs> is that what's going uh, yeah. Oh, the next video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. next video is oh, even the video. better yeah, than this it. one. You wait till you see that. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Any tracks that didn't uh, make this album that we can see on an EP possibly from you guys or, or an album down the road, maybe, or no? Well, we were working on something that was called Sweet Home Alabama, but I, <laughs> we I threw it, out. It, just, it wasn't good enough. Oh. It just wasn't a good song. <laughs> no. The title was... It was... <laughs> nah, man. They're all good. Was there a song that was brought to the table that just totally ended up sounding differently than what it was? A few of them actually changed quite a bit because like when we first put it down, maybe the tempo is too fast. So we'll slow it down and maybe slow it down again. And it'd be like, that's where it should be. So that's kind of the most changes that really happen. Or we'll rearrange something a little bit, but nothing too drastic. They all pretty much, you know, wound up the way they started pretty much. Do you guys still see the band going outside that box on each album? I mean, I know there's a lot of slow songs on this one. But, I mean, it, it's just a good heavy rock album. There's a good flavor and mixture of songs on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's great, man. You know, I think each record's getting, you know, better and better. Like, the songwriting seems to be better. Sonically, it's it's better. We're, you know, we've been in control of the recordings now for the last, since Order of the Black. You know, so that's like our second chapter of Black Label, you know. Since then, we've gotten to mix and produce and, it's really, you know, it's taking a turn for the for the better. And Zach, he just keeps coming up with some cool riffs, man. You know, so and he's singing better than ever. It's it sounds good. So let's let's hope for the best, man. It's like after Order of the, Order of the Black, and I'm not saying anything bad at all because I, I love you guys. I love this band, you know, yeah. a lot. But it seems like there's two sides of Black Label. You've got Black Label up to Order of the Black, and then after Order of the Black, it's like a totally different band in a way. Um, yeah, kind of, you know. 
there's like more creativity. There's more freeness, if that makes sense. Well, different people came in. And, and also, like I said, we were able to spend as much time as we want, which we always were. But mm. it's just more relaxed, you know, because we built the studio at Zach's guest house. Mm. So we could spend, you know, 50 days in a row, whatever we want, you know, mix it for as, as ever long we need, you know. And so that kind of helps, you know. Actually, the first order, we took it to get mastered. And then uh, we went, once we took it there, I was like, oh, man, I wanted to remix a couple of things. So I wound up actually remixing a lot of it and then mastering it. So and that that's because we had, you know, our own studio. So I was able to do that, you know, and that, that's that's probably, you know, what you're hearing, man. I want to know what has the young pup Dario brought to this band? I mean, he's a phenomenal guitarist. Uh, but what has oh, yeah. he brought to this band? Has, has he kept you on Dude, your sexiness? Uh, he's handsome. Chicken piccata. He's tall. Yeah, yeah. You see, he's the opposite of me. Everything I, I ain't, he is. <laughs> he's tall. He's sexy. He's good. Good singing. Good playing. Good cook. Yeah. Good in the bedroom. That's what I hear. I don't know. I'll find out later. Oh, no. But <laughs> good sleeper. He's he, a good he, sleeper. He sleeps good. He's in the bunk early. He's yep. a good kid. Yep. Responsible. You know? He's a cleanup better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's why we got Kid Dynamite here. <laughs> Trying to help me look better. You know, it's not helping. <laughs> so is there a band that BLS should be on tour with or should go on tour with? Is there a band that you guys specifically would like to tour with possibly soon? I know you guys toured with a lot, but. Zeppelin? Yeah, Led Zeppelin maybe. <laughs> uh, Elvis. The Stones? <laughs> How about the Stones, man? That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Metallica? Yeah, that'd be great, man. That'd be a good bill, actually, you know? Us and Metallica, they go on first. You guys headline, yeah. <laughs> They'll still headline, but they go on first. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah, you guys can go on later. We don't care. But no, that would be amazing. Yeah, actually. that would be awesome. That would be cool. We're doing some festivals with them over in Europe. Yeah, I saw Next that. Year. You guys are going to, like, June, you guys are going to have, like, three or four yeah. festivals overseas. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. cool. Do you guys still have a go-to album or maybe a song that you find yourself going back to and listening from time to time, possibly? I mean, is there is there one album that you just can't shake? You got you have to have it. There you go. I don't know. That's a hard one. I mean, as a guitar player, it's always like I'll go back and listen to Van Halen, you know. But um, yeah, I'm always listening to different stuff. So yeah, there's no just one. It's like a million, you know, Old Scorpion, Sabbath, Zeppelin, yeah. Van Halen. You know, and then there's jazz and funk and soul, Marvin Gaye, you know, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, you know, we listen to everything, man, you know, blues. Yeah. So it's not just one thing. That's like Black Label. Black Label is not just one thing, you know. We, we do mellow stuff, piano stuff, you know. A lot of the heavy metal bands don't, don't mess with the piano, you know. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Jeff? Yeah. Same, man. I listen to so much. I, a lot of the stuff I listen to is... 70s stuff totally oh, yeah. you know Mostly i mean so um there's not like one album i always go back and listen to but i mean you know i definitely have my favorites i guess you know but you know i have like i guess i have more of like favorites mu as far as musicians that i'll go back and listen to all the time mm -hmm. you know what i mean but um yeah a lot of the stuff i listen to is probably like that you know 70s 70s stuff Oaks Black Label Society will release their 11th studio album entitled Doom Crew Incorporated on November 26th. That's Black Friday via Spine Farm. You want to get out and check that out, pick it up, and, and also check out their first single off the new album entitled Set You Free. This band don't disappoint, folks. I'm telling you, if you can't get up on Black Label Society, there's something badly wrong with you. <laughs> Especially when your expectations are low. My girlfriend says I disappoint her every night, so, God. you know, we've got to do something good. At least the music's yeah, good. yeah. Uh, folks, uh, guys, how can folks stay in touch with you guys? Uh, buy this new album tour dates, of course. How can you do that? They can, Instagram, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, you know. Facebook. We're pretty accessible on there. Yep. Come say hi. Yeah, man. And come, come follow us. Come follow me aimlessly throughout the world. <laughs> and before I let you guys go, would one of you guys care to do a promo for my show? Sure. Sure. This is Jeff Fab. This is JD. Dario Arena. And you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Everybody stick around. we got some great, great stuff coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour. 
please go check out our Facebook page and subscribe to our podcast link and our YouTube link. And please, folks, I'll even sing Baby Shark without my shirt and eat a bologna sandwich if you want. <laughs> you know, so maybe JD will do something wild for me as well. I, I don't know if I get that one. Oh, man. <laughs> Please, folks, subscribe. We got a lot of great stuff coming up. And please give Black Label Society a chance. They've got many albums out that I know for a fact one of you guys will dig it for sure. But I, but pick up their new album that's coming out, uh, like I said, November 26th via Spine Farm, Doom Crew Incorporated. I know how you can get some subscribers, man. Oh, Lord, here we you go. just get right on that bed right there. <laughs> Start doing the show. From there, man. I'm from telling the bed. you. From, from the, from the bed. That comfortable bed. Yes. I, I want to get on that bed. Yes. Like, hey, how's it going, everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> with, like, with like room service track. <laughs> man, and remote. Look, and, you know, now, now we get Dario smiling. Look at him now. He's smiling from here. To here. He's got, you got him going now, see? It works. Look, I'm telling you, I just noticed that. I'm like, man. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right, folks, stick around. Like I said, we got some great, great stuff coming up. And guys, thank you so much. Thanks, dude. You got it, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you. Being in the Thanks hospital. For us, man. Yeah, being in the hospital, listening to your guys' music, uh, just uh, kept my mind open. So thank you all so much. Cool, man. Cool, brother. You got it, brother. Y'all yeah, have a good one. You thank too. You, Talk to you soon, man. man. See you. us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey everybody, it's John the Bod, aka the Bod Father, a Bod's Mayhem Hour. If you want a great podcast to check out about Ozzy Osbourne, then look no further than Diary of the Mad Men, the ultimate Ozzy podcast with hosts Dan Drago and Josh Crum. Jump aboard the crazy train with two lifelong Aussie fans who will bring you two unique perspectives on his legendary career. Diary of the Mad Men, the ultimate Aussie podcast, discuss all things Aussie and all things Aussie-related, such as all albums from all of the eras, tours, Ozfest, reunions, and more. They'll pit albums against each other in battles to determine the ultimate Aussie albums, plus discuss Aussie-related artists, such as Randy Rhodes, The Mighty Zach Wilde, Jakey Lee, Bob Daisley, and Black Sabbath, among others. Please check out Diary of the Mad Men, the ultimate Aussie podcast, where podcasts are available. And trust me, these two guys, they know more about Ozzy Osbourne than I think Sharon or Ozzy knows about Ozzy himself. So be sure to check out Diary of the Mad Men, the ultimate Aussie podcast. Jump aboard. <laughs>